Three, two, one. All right, so I'm going to talk to you guys about general care and compl complications with crawfish. I have an electric blue crawfish. It was kind of an impulse buy. I don't recommend doing impulse buys, but I couldn't keep anything alive with the water down here. And they're very hardy creatures. Yeah, she's lost two boyfriends too, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so one of them. I hope that's not true. <laughs> anyway, back to the crawfish. <laughs> So your aquarium size for a single crawfish, they are very territorial, so you are going to want to have about 5 to 10 gallons. Um, they're very active, so if you have any sort of foliage or anything in there, um, they're going to eat it or they're going to uproot it. Um, I had plants in there that I just had that were stuck in the marbles, and if I put them in there, he'll tear them out within a week. Um, they need places to hide. They are, um, they molt as they start to grow and when they are the week after they molt their shells are still very um soft so they hide to so they can regenerate and become hard again and so then they don't have any issues <coughs> and then molting complications so molting happens when they're growing it um when they're younger they molt more often um when i first got him he was that was his length he was about like three inches, and now he's about the length of my hand, so about five inches. So now his old shell is on top? Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. it. that's the old shell. Well, that's the whole, was, that's, that's not him. him at all. Then. That's not him at all. That oh. is just the shell that he had molted. Um, <clears throat> you want to keep that in there because they'll eat it to get the calcium back. Um, I took it out because I wanted to take a picture of it. It was cool. Um, this had been just re um, after I had first gotten him. Um, so different things that can happen when they molt, they can have incomplete molts, they can lose claws or lose limbs, and if they do have any issues with the incomplete molt, they can die. Um, stress and poor water quality are the two main things that cause these, and then iodine deficiency, which is a supplement that you can give, and then calcium deficiency. So with iodine deficiency, um, it's one of the things that they have in tap water, but it's one of the first things that evaporate out. So you need to supplement it in when, like weekly, if you're not gonna do weekly water changes or anything like that. Um, so with that, you supplement it in, you can get uh, just aquarium iodide. They usually use it for um, saltwater creatures, uh, but they have it for freshwater um, animals also and usually you can get the saltwater kind, it's cheaper and it's more concentrated so you use less of it. Um, and then calcium deficiency, it's because people don't um, supplement them with enough like actual meat or anything like that um, and they'll have issues when it comes to like actually getting it di in their diet, that's what I'm trying to say. And then Sexing is another thing. I keep calling my crawfish a he. I had him for about a year and a half before I realized that he was a she. Um, so when you flip them over, you could see that the males have these swimmerettes, they're called, and they have less of them, and they are only pointed um, up. And then with the females, there's more of them, and they kind of curl. And that is so that the eggs can latch on and hold there when they um, uh, have the eggs and when they fertilize everything. Females can store sperm up to a year. So when I first got my crawfish, I he was the only one in the tank or she was the only one in the tank. Um, but I had her for about six months and she laid eggs. Um, I didn't do anything with them. And usually about the week after the eggs hatch, you're supposed to take them out uh, so the crawfish doesn't eat them. Uh, I was not that person. I The eggs ended up not actually hatching. The he, she actually ended up eating the eggs because of the water quality. Um, it was too cold. They needed to be a little bit warmer for their eggs to hatch. Um, and then the one, two, three, and four, this just shows the actual external um, genitalia of the male and the female. And then so I have a blue crawfish. He or she is just a normal everyday crawfish that you would find really out and about, but you can breed for it. It's technically a lack in pigmentation. So a red or crawfish, if they have a recessive gene,
then if you breed it to another that has a recessive gene, you have a chance that you can get a blue, and they do breed for them. And then for semi-aquatic versus aquatic, um, being that I have a filter in my tank and everything, I have him or her fully aquatic, so she can be in the tank completely submerged underwater with not um, no uh, rocks or anything for her to get out. Um, they can live out of water with for about two to three hours, but you, they want need to keep their gills moist, and that's how they get their oxygen. Um, so if you're going to have them semi-aquatic, you don't have to have a filter or anything, any aeration in your tank. Um, you can just have like plants and rocks that come out of the water so your crawfish can leave the water when they please so they can breathe. And then I have two videos. I have a molting video. It's not of my crawfish, but this is just what happens when they molt. I think it was around two um, look at his new parts coming out. Okay. We're going to mute that. But they are pretty violent when they do molt, and that's how they can have the loss of limbs, because if it gets stuck in any way, shape, or form, or if they're not ready, when they do try to spurt out of it, they can rip their um, limbs off. I've never seen a crawfish molt, so this is good. So they, they have like another shell basically ready. Yes. But you said it's soft. It's soft. Yeah. yeah. And then you would want to leave the you want to leave the shell in there because they will eat it to regain some of that calcium back so they can harden their shell that they have. He's got an audience too. Why is he a fish? I, oh. There he goes. Made it. Because they're so soft. Yeah. Katie, is that what they eat, those fish? They can. Um, so they are omnivores. And so I feed my crawfish um, the moss balls that you find at the pet store. Um, they are expensive, but they last them about a month. And they will eat that and they'll eat other vegetarian or <coughs> vegetarian, they'll eat other vegetation. Um, I also have algae tablets. And then I will supplement. They're not very good hunters. Um, they are more scavengers, and um, so any fish that you have in there that becomes sick, he, they will end up eating. Um, like I have in there this picture, you can see that he has a fish here and a fish here. Um, <laughs> he just went to the buffet. Yeah, he's holding two fish in this picture. Um, their mouth is like right here, and they will use like these claws right here to shred the uh, oh fish apart. So they can. It's a violent it. This world. This is the scariest <laughs> pet in the world. And then, so I have this video of one eating. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> it is. Wow. Look at the goldfish. <laughs> you feel the remorse. I know, but I don't care. Oh, it's so weird. So oh my god. They will use, like, their mouth is here and it's very small. And then they'll hold it with the large claws and then use the small claws to tear it apart so it's in bite sized pieces. Yeah, let this run for a little bit. This is was that was that fish probably dead though? I mean, or maybe um, been alive? I mean, wow. <laughs> um. So I usually go to. No, he is Jacques is the inventor. So I go to the pet store and I just get rosies and like the little feeder fish mm -hmm. that are like fifteen wow. cents, and I put them in there, and he will. Oh, it's still alive. It's still alive. No. <laughs> Either corner them and catch them, or he'll pick off the weak ones. Yeah. Um, so the last batch that I got him, he ended up like not eating two or three of them. <laughs> but, it looks like he's got a rotor up there by his mouth, yeah. doesn't it? Like natural selection at its finest. So this is like a factor up there. What what color? My brother has the idea to grab the crawfish out of the wild and it came to the cover on the filter and it escaped and we found it five months like three months later, just like this. Okay, so um yes, I, they okay, are. We have a question. They are escape artists. So um 
I have a filter for aeration and everything in the tank, but I also had to get a like wire covering on the aquarium because I had them for about seven months and I never had any issues. And then I woke up one day and I couldn't find cr crawfish. So I looked and he was behind um, my nightstand where I had the aquarium. And so it when- a lie. <laughs> when your crawfish if it gets out and is out for an extended period of time you can't just throw them back into the aquarium because they can end up drowning because their gills could have dried out some so what you're supposed to do is you get a very shallow like bowl and you put them like just enough to where it's covering over the top of them so they can reacclimate and readjust and you want to keep them in there for about 12 12 to 24 hours and then in order to see if they are ready to be back into the aquarium, you will um, pick them up and you will put them on their back um, in water. And if they flail and freak out, then you know that they need to be back um, in the shallow water for a little bit longer. And then if they're okay and just start trying to get away, then you can put them back in the deep aquarium. This takes more care than I thought. Yep. <laughs> it was an impulse buy too. Are you ready for more questions? Yeah, more okay. questions. Well, are you done? Yeah, here's the yeah, Go ahead. Just point. Um, so this is a white one. So is this a form of albi albinism? So, so there are multiple different verge, like breeds of crawfish. Oh. Um, I never actually did a lot of the research into the breeds. Um, I have an electric blue crawfish, which is basically the same breed as that you would find out in the pond and back sort of thing. Um, it's just the traits, the breeds. This crawfish is also a significantly smaller than the crawfish I have. This crawfish is probably only about two to three inches long and that's probably fully grown. So. And how big is yours? Mine's